Various forms of Carnatic music, part one. Swara exercises. Welcome to the lecture series on Carnatic music. In this session, we will begin to discuss about the various forms of Carnatic music. The main topics that would be presented are introduction to musical forms, technical forms, Sarali Varisai or Swaravali Varisai, group one. Introduction. As discussed in the previous sessions, Carnatic concerts fall under two heads, Kalpita Sangeetam and Mano Dharma Sangeetam. Mano Dharma Sangeetam is the improvisational aspect of Carnatic music. Kalpita Sangeetam comprises all the musical compositions. A musical composition is compared to the bricks that help in building up the knowledge in Carnatic music. Musical compositions are of several forms. The musical forms serve as an important aid to facilitate music education in a systematic method. South Indian music has evolved many types of musical forms. There are musical forms varying in structure, style and content. There are also forms ranging from simple one to that of a difficult one. Datu and Matu are the two fundamental aspects of a musical composition. Datu is the melodic aspect of a song. There is no music without Datu. Matu is the Sahitya syllables sung to the Datu. Datu and Matu are two different aspects of the same sound. Therefore, music and words cannot be separated. Any art music may be classified into technical and melodic forms. Technical forms may be called forms belonging to Abhyasa Ghana and melodic forms are said to be forms belonging to Sabha Ghana. Technical forms or Abhyasa Gana are those which enable a student to acquire proficiency in the art of music. They are Sarali Varisai, Janta Varisai, Dhatu Varisai, Hechastai Varisai, Mandarastai Varisai, Alankaras, Geetas, Jatiswaras, Swarajatis, and Varna. The melodic forms or the forms belonging to Sabhagana are Kirtana, Kriti, Pada, Javali, Tillana, Ragamalika, and other compositions performed in concerts. Varnas, which belong to Abhyasagana, is also sung in concerts. Among the various types of musical forms, some of them like Sarali Varisai, Janta Varisai, Alankaras, Dhatu Varisai, Hachastai Varisai, Mandarastai Varisai and Jatiswaras have only solfa passage or Datu. The great composer Purandara Dasa, hailed as the father of Carnatic music, created this set of fundamental exercises nearly 500 years ago which are followed till today. He introduced the Raga Maya Malava Gaulai as the basic scale for music instruction 
and fashion series of these graded basic lessons. Technical forms are studied and practiced first to get acquainted with the basic elements of music, namely Shruti Jnana, Swara Jnana and Laya Jnana. They help the students in developing good vocal and instrumental technique. Melodic forms enable a student of music to acquire deep knowledge in the various ragas, their subtle aspects and help them to perform all the aspects of Manodharma Sangeeta with ease and confidence. Firstly, in technical forms, the melodic aspect is an important factor and the Sahitya is of minor importance. Herein, Sahitya is merely an aid to remember the music. Secondly, these compositions illustrate some technical aspects of music. Alankaras illustrate the 35 talas. The Gitas make a student to get outline knowledge of the raga in which it is composed. Jatiswara and Swarajatis give training to the student to sing phrases of variegated patterns in different tempo. Varnas which contain varieties of phrase patterns and more vowel extensions give best training to the students, both vocalists and instrumentalists. They lay best foundation to learn the musical compositions belonging to Sabha Ghana with more ease. Thirdly, the compositions belonging to Abhyasa Ghana is a result of conscious effort. As it serves some technical purpose, they appeal more to the intellect and the composer has to plan out before composing the form. The dart or melody of the form is composed first and appropriate mat or lyrics are provided. The range of these compositions covers the notes of three octaves. In the melodic forms, both music and sahitya are of equal importance. The main aim of the composer is the presentation of the ragha bhava in all its rich colors. Therefore, the dat and the mat come out of him simultaneously. These forms appeal to the intellect as well as emotion. The range of the compositions rarely exceeds two octaves. Technical forms. Sarali Varisai. Sarali is a shortened form of Swaravali. It is the first lesson taught to the students of music. Sarali Varisai, which have been set to Maya Malava Gaulai Ragam, are the basic exercises meant for the students of Carnatic music, both vocal and instrumental. The Raga Maya Malava Gaulai is the 15th Melakarta Raga and consists of the Swaras Shuddha Rishabam, Re. Antara Gandharam, Ga. Shuddha Madhyamam, Ma. Shuddha Daivatam, the and Kakali Nishadham. Ne. This is a Sampurna Raga as it has all seven notes in both its Arohana and Avarohana. All the basic lessons in Carnatic music are based on this Raga. The Gamakas in the Raga, Ga is sung in oscillation between Ma and Ga, while Ma is held constant. Ri and Dha are also usually sung in oscillation with Sa and Pa respectively, making the only constant notes Sa, Ma and Pa. The Raga Maya Malava Gaulai chosen for these Varisai is best suited for a beginner because 
This is the only Sampurna Raga that contains four pair of notes separated by an interval of a semitone or Dvishruti. Therefore, once a student gets acquainted with Dvishruti interval which occurs between the first pair Sa and Ri, he or she will be able to sing the other pairs also easily. The Purvanga and Uttaranga of this Raga is symmetrical. This Raga takes Swaras which have no dual names. This Raga admits of Janta Swaras and Dhatu Swaras. The notes constituting this Raga can be grouped into consonantal pairs thus Sa and Pa, Ri and Dha, Ga and Ni, Ma and Aparsa are consonantal. Through this Raga, a student becomes familiar with plain notes and graced notes. This Raga can be grasped easily when a student begins to learn. This Raga is also an auspicious Raga. This seems to be one of the first formed puns composed by Karaikal Ammayar of 5th century. Now, Indalam is referred as Maya Malava Gaulai. So these are the reasons why the basic lessons are taught in Maya Malava Gaulai. With these characteristics associated to the Swaras in Maya Malava Gaulai, one can practice full-throated singing, which is essential in the early stages of learning to mold one's voice. Initially, these exercises should be sung with plain notes. Sare ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga re sa. And once it is perfected, it can be sung with gamaka swaras or graced notes. Regarding the tala used for these varisai, adi tala consisting of eight aksharas is used. The purvanga or lower tetrachord of the raga is set to lagu of four aksharas and the uttaranga or higher tetrachord to two drutas consisting of four aksharas altogether. Thus, the symmetry in this structure enables a beginner to learn them with ease. The range of these varisai is only one octave starting from Madhyama Shajja to Tara Shajja covering all the seven notes of the Raga. Swaravali means a series of Swara phrases. Another important feature of Sarali varisai is the sequence of varisai. They have been composed in such a way that a student acquires the knowledge of all the intervals that occur between shadja and the other swaras present in the raga step by step. There are 15 sarali varisais in total. These are grouped into three or five varisai each. Now, let us analyze each of the 15 varisais in detail. Sarali Varisai, Group 1 The first group emphasizes 
on the swarasthana or the position of swaras of Maya Malava Gaule. Let us now listen to the first Sarali Varisai. The first varisai is the arohana and the avarohana of the raga Maya Malava Gaulai. It has two avartanas. First is the arohana and second is the avarohana. Sare ga ma pa da ni Shall now listen to the second Sarali Varisai. Sare, 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 Gama, Sare, Gama, Pada. In the second varisai, the first line focuses on the swara ri, second swara in the ascent. This is followed by the arohana in the second line. The third line focuses on the swara ni, the second swara of the descent. And this is followed by the avarohana as the fourth line. While singing this varisai, the swaras ri and ni are emphasized, so their swarasthanas are well familiarized. This varisai has four avartanas. Sare, 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 gama, sare, gama, Here is a demonstration of the third Sarali Varisai. In the third varisai, the first line focuses on the swara ga, the third swara in the ascent. This is followed by the arohana in the second line. The third line focuses on the swara dha, the third swara of the descent, 
and this is followed by the avarohana as the fourth line. While singing this varisai, the swaras ga and dha are emphasized, so their swarasthanas are well familiarized. This varisai has four avartanas. <laughs> Let us now listen to the fourth varisai. Fourth varisai, the first line focuses on the swara ma or the fourth swara in the ascent. This is followed by the arohana in the second line. The third line focuses on the swara pa or the fourth swara of the descent, and this is followed by the avarohana as the fourth line. While singing this varisai, the swaras ma and pa are emphasized. So the swarasthanas are well familiarized. This varisai has four avartanas. <laughs> Let us now listen to the fifth Sarali Varisai. This varisai is a combination of the second and fourth varisai. The swaras 
ma re and pa ni are emphasized there are totally 6 avartanas in this varisai here is a demonstration of this varisai re ga ma sa re ga ma sa re sa re sa re ga ma sa re ga ma pa I hope this session has given you an elaborate introduction to the musical forms of Sarali Varisai. The next session will continue to present more about this swara exercise. Thank you. <laughs>